Multiple cities in Central Texas received rumors of an active shooter in their school, including right here in Waco. Waco High School went under lockdown at 2 in the afternoon today, implementing their safety protocols. Fox 44's Jessica Rivera was at the scene earlier, and she joins us live in the studio after speaking with the school district and police officials. Jessica, what happened today? MG, it was an emotional day for parents as they received a call that the high school was under lockdown. The school district took quick action after Waco PD informed them of the call, and police later confirmed there was no active shooter. A little after two in the afternoon today, Waco Police Department received a call from dispatch of a potential active shooter situation at Waco High School. Waco police officials say the call stated there was an active shooter on the campus and students were possibly injured. After police cleared the building, they quickly discovered that was not true. They cleared the building as quickly as they could and as methodically as they could, and they quickly learned that there is no active threat, there was no active threat at the school. Out of abundance of safety, Waco ISD put the campus under lockdown. Just very thankful that um, this did turn out not to be um, an active shooter as reported. Parents were told to meet at the base center to pick up their children while Waco PD worked on clearing out the campus. Schools nearby were also put on a secure hold. You know, we take this very seriously anytime there's a threat to students or staff. Um, we do train year round, whether it be students doing drills, teachers doing training. Waco was not the only city to receive a call like this today. Houston, Whitney, and Pflugerville ISD received similar calls, which were also confirmed to be non credible threats. We're not sure what that means regarding this incident, but right now our biggest concern was the safety for, our, for the students and our, and our community. Classes will resume as usual tomorrow. This is an ongoing investigation. As we get more information, we'll keep you updated on air and online. In the studio, Jessica Rivera, Fox 44 News.